I'm going to talk to you today about Kawasaki's disease. It's a disease which has viral-like symptoms. You can get red bloodshot eyes, um, swollen glands in the neck. I had peeling skin on the hands as well and dry lips. You can also get a fever which is 40 degrees and usually is maintained over a few days. And also, most recognisable for Kawasaki's disease is a strawberry tongue, which is really red, and that's sort of the pictures which are most recognisable to Kawasaki's disease, um, and are on all of the posters and leaflets and information um, that you can get. Um, it's a disease which usually has to be treated within 10 days, and it's the only disease which will be given uh, aspirin to young children and also you'll have a dose of intravenous immunoglobin and that will try and help reduce the impact that Kawasaki's disease has on the red blood cells um, because it makes it uh, swollen which can then cause an impact on your arteries, it can break down the walls and therefore in later life scarring tissue can then it will he it will make the artery go back to its original size, but then sometimes the scarring tissue can then continue to grow and then reduce the size of your arteries, therefore creating aneurysms, um, which is an impact later on in life um, that can occur. It's therefore important that you have echoes that you're aware of post Kawasaki's disease what could occur. It's not really known itself between in the medical world. It's still something that's being researched. It's still something that's being looked into. I currently have heart problems um, and I'm awaiting a CT scan of my arteries. Um, it's something that you just have to live with, um, but be aware of. Um, I'll be interested to know if there's anyone else out there who has Kawasaki's disease, who has similar issues to me. I have met a few of you already. Um, Basically, there's an awareness day on the 26th. It's the American day of awareness. Um, we don't have a registered day in England yet. I've written to the MP, but basically he says everyone's aware of it, which is untrue because I've been to hospital where doctors have had to Google it before, and that's a bit disconcerting when the patient is more than the doctor. So basically, wear red, raise awareness, hand out the leaflets, posters which you can find on the Kawasaki's disease website and I've got a band which was also bought off of the website and you can wear that I'll put a link down at the bottom um, you can wear that as well to raise awareness I wear mine 24 hours a day all the time uh, just in case if anything happens to me in the future then hopefully someone who does know about it will see my band and will know what to do. Um, so basically, the symptoms, just a quick rundown, strawberry tongue, high temperature, rash, swollen glands. In my case, I haven't, I don't, I'm not sure about everyone else, but peeling skin. Um, really important that you get diagnosed and treated within 10 days. So if you have any stories, any additional comments to make, uh, anything, just post them at the bottom of this video, underneath the comments, and I'll get back to you. But I'll also attach the helpline number as well, which is our national helpline for Kawasaki's disease. They're really lovely, so just ring them if you have any questions. They're much more qualified than me to be able to, to help you and give suggestions and advice. So please check out the number, the website, and give them a call. Otherwise, spread the awareness and wear red on the 26th of January. Thanks, bye.